Series Notch Filters What is the use of them? Every part in crossovers plays an effective role in frequency response. You may design a high-pass filter for your driver, and the result after connecting the filter may be like this figure, including an unwanted peak in its response, but you think the filter must have a smooth response. A good tip to reduce the peak is to use a series notch filter. In this video, you'll learn how to design it without any background. In the next videos, we'll dive into its math and relationships. The driver chosen for this tutorial is Dayton Audio N25 TA-4, a 4 ohm high frequency driver. Download its files and import them into Vituixcad software as I do. Vituixcad link is available in the description. A series notch filter includes an inductor, capacitor, and a resistor. Let's perform it in Vituixcad. Perform a right click to rotate the elements 90 degrees. Now go to this address and do these things step by step. These parameters are available in the driver specification file that we downloaded at the beginning of the video. This is the resulting filter. Open Vituixcad again and enter the same values as shown in this figure for all the elements. This filter affects the impedance response. So click on the impedance response. Then disconnect the filter to see the original response of the driver. As you can see, there is a big peak here. We want to eliminate it with our design filter. Just enter all the values and see the result. You are allowed to use the DC resistance of the driver for R. If you want to improve the result, select either the capacitor or inductor, then hold the ALT button and after selecting the cell, adjust it to your desired value by pushing the up or down arrow keys. Reset the L value and try to adjust C. The result is better now. This new part is a high-pass filter filtering the frequencies below 2000 Hz. Its design tutorial will be explained in another video. As you can see, there is a bump here due to the bump in the original impedance response of the driver. Note that the notch filter is disconnected for now. For an ideal second-order 2000 Hz filter, the sound pressure must be reduced by 6 dB at 2000 Hz, else, the total response will include a peak. Now, if we connect the notch filter, the response will be smoother, and the 6 dB attenuation is obvious. The driver response is really smoother now. You may say I select a higher frequency for the filter to eliminate the bump. Yes, but you lose a frequency band and the bump effect will remain a bit. This is a 3000 Hz filter. Note that this is the filter response and this one is the driver response. Wait for the next videos. Thanks for watching.